So my last interior video did pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to do another one because as you can see, I've changed my car a lot since my last video. Um, I'm just going to go over everything again and just show what everything looks like now with the interior changed. Um, I'm going to do a whole overview of my car again with some updated mods and stuff because I have done some on the outside, some on the inside. And yeah, I'm just going to do a little video on what my Lancer looks like now because it has changed a lot since the last time I posted a video. So we're going to do that. I'm going to start with the interior, then go to the outside, show you the outside. And yeah, basically that's it. Cool. One of us, we have still the carbon fiber looked um, steering wheel cover. My wrap here, which isn't perfect. You can see that around the button here didn't exactly cut the way I wanted it to. So this will have to get rewrapped. I'm going to plan on wrapping this. Um, I did wrap these. And this, which you can see, this isn't perfect because I did use um, just a hairdryer and I didn't get it to go the way I wanted to. Uh, there's a couple little pinches and I did cut that right there and that over there with my bracket to my seat when I got it out yesterday or the other day, whenever that was. I have my radio still, which color changes my six speed shift knob and my bag over just over my automatic automatic um like where my plate used to be i have stickers from the import show my coilover sticker uh my canon sticker from my uh cold air intake my import and performance show window sticker uh, still have my six speed mirror, which is an infinity mirror. Don't use it that much, but it's kind of cool. I recently did my headliner and s changed my tan handles and stuff to black, which once again didn't come out the best because you can see some chips and stuff. But it looks a lot better than the tan, everything still functions. Looks, looks pretty sick. I like that. Um, still have the harness bar. And I'm not sure if I had these harnesses the last time I did a video. But I have my 6 speed padded harnesses. Which I don't have them adjusted right now. I just have them thrown in here because I had a car meet yesterday. And I had to take the whole passenger side seat out and the whole harness bar out to do my headliner without having any problems so yeah that's not they're not adjusted they're just thrown in there right now as you can see i have my floor mats which i just bought just because they were blue i have my pedal covers which i like those they add nice to the car um let's see Door view from the back here. Floor mats, my motorcycle helmet, my harness bar with my harnesses. I also painted my pillars back here and stuff. Let me do a wider angle here so you can actually see the headliner. This was the only fabric they sold at Hobby Lobby that I liked that was big enough. So we just went with this, which I kind of like it. Not gonna lie. Uh, I don't I haven't really done anything to my back seat yet. Okay, and I have these too, which these fit better in the back door than the front door. I need to get bigger ones. The picture was misleading. Um. I recently got new rims, valve stem caps, which I love those. I painted my brake calibers black, my Tom Nookie, Instagram, Instagram, which I'm taking this one off and putting a 
text message sticker on here soon. All of my new stickers and everything. Uh, I got this one for free. I got this one from the, the car group that I'm in. Um, Static Struggle. Croy Liver is also with that. Little preview of all my stickers. My new taillights. I got a carbon badge. My taillight sticker. Um, the carbon badge. The plastic badge. The six speed license plate cover I got from being sponsored. Which that's like the only thing I got. My little tow hook charm. My boiler exhaust. Um... My visor, my carbon like overlay for my just trimming, my visors, same stickers. I replaced my other handles with these ones because the other ones were faded really bad. My wrapped mirrors, my banner, happy endings, with my stickers, chemical guys, six speed sticker. I got new side marker lights, which are tinted and sequential. My new headlights. Um, I got a carbon overlay for that. And then I just spray painted that, which you can see there's a lot of rock chips in it already. Um, let me turn on the lights. I actually have this too. Carbon. Uh, let's turn my foliage on. Ugh, and that is that. Now, I'm gonna pop the hood and show you. I only did, did like one or two things under there so far. Not really anything impressive, so. So under here, I just have these like arms instead of the bar. And then my KN in intake. And for that, that's like it. You can see my coils under here. I love these arms. These look so much better than that tacky bar. But yeah, that is basically it. So it definitely looks very different from my last video because of the headliner and my headlights and taillights and all that stuff. Most of the stuff was already in here from the last video. I didn't really change anything that I already had in here. I just added more stuff. Uh, it's basically just a general idea of what my lantern looks like and some ideas on what you can do i mean it's just relatable content basically and you know gives you an idea of what it would look like if you did this to your lancer i know that looking into videos for a lancer is really hard to find i could not find a video on how to remove the headliner there's just a video of a guy um basically taking out the corner of his headliner and fixing a leak. He didn't actually remove the headliner from the car, which basically a little summary of that is you take off all the extras, like the handles, 
um, the lights, the visors, the pillars just pop off. There is a little clip in there that you have to turn sideways and pop it out, which I just left those out. So the next time I take them off, I don't have to deal with them because they were a pain. Um, and then you got to take out your passenger seat. And I laid my driver's seat down flat and then I just pulled it out the back passion or the back passenger side door and I didn't have any problems. So it does fit out your back passenger side door. Um you probably will have to remove your passenger seat. Uh that's basically it. For doing my headliner, I just bought some fabric at Hobby Lobby, which I went to Michael's. Michael's had a very small selection of fabrics. I went to Walmart. Walmart only had small, like, two yard, 40 by like 45, 72 by 45, which was two yards by 45 wide, which my headliner was, I think, 56 or something like that wide. So I went to Michael's. All the fabric they had out on like the main display was 45 inches, which is too short. I had to buy off the big rolls. So I bought two yards off one of the big rolls, which it was $25 a yard. So I bought two yards. So it was around like $53, but they had a 40% 40, 40 off coupon on their website. And I got it for like 30 bucks. So that wasn't that bad. And then I just bought some... um 3M spray adhesive spray at Walmart. That was like $18. So like overall, it was only like 40 bucks to do my headliner. And it adds kind of like a unique, like personal look to my Lancer. So I really like that. I didn't show my trunk, which my trunk just has speakers and my cleaning stuff in it. So I am going to show a quick video of my trunk. So like, you know what my trunk setup looks like. Um, other than that, I think... That's basically it. So I'm just going to show the trunk and yeah. So looking at my trunk, I have all of my microfibers, my speakers, well subs, a plaque I bought from the import show, which I need to put my import trophy in here too. All my sprays, uh, <laughs> camera bag, 3M tape. Uh, for sprays, I have tire shine that I use. This stuff I just bought at AutoZone and I love it. Like, it smells good. And with one clean, I use that much. But I'm kind of overly doing it there. My protectant that I use. Glass cleaner or Windex that I use. Which, that's just water. My Windex is in the house. Um, this for cleaning my tires. This is another multi-purpose interior cleaner. I used to use this. And then my little chemical guy stuff that I have. I use this, which is empty. I used this for wheels. And then I used this for car wash. But I'm going to switch from this chemical guy's product to this. Because I like it a lot better. So... There's all that stuff. Put the all that back. Um, yeah. This is the ugly arm that I took out of the... This was the hood prop, and I got rid of that and put the, the arms on, in case you were wondering that. But yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, I'm gonna try and post more content as much as I can. Like I might do a bike video next since I did just get my R3 and it seems like a lot of people are interested in knowing my opinion on that as a first bike and all that. So I might do that next if people wanna see that. Um, yeah, if you wanna leave any suggestions uh, any questions, I'll try and answer the best of my ability. Um, yeah. I'm gonna leave in the, like, bio my list of mods and stuff. Just in case you, like, wanna know where I got it from or 
um, the name or just anything like that. So once again, thank you for watching. I'll try to make more content and yeah.